what's up, this is A&Y Pony. A few days ago, my buddy Berlin Brony Andy, this guy, uploaded a video in which he reacted to a certain comment he came along. Now, I am going to react to his reaction and comment on it. And yeah, you can consider this as a reaction slash rambling slash my thoughts on video. Without further ado, let's check out his video, I guess. <laughs> I'm still not used to his hairlessness. No. 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 The fuck? <laughs> The computer is finally mine. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit of an overreaction. No maybe. shit, Sherlock. But what can I say? I'm a Sparity Shipper. Or I was one. I guess it's not surprising. It's very unlikely for them to actually come together in the future. But spoken out loudly like a definite no, that is just wrong. For me, such a quote, it makes it just impossible to ship them anymore. Not even in my fantasy. Just such a definite no. What do you think? Write it down in the comments, please. Especially if you are a Sparity Shipper. Or an ex Sparity Shipper, for that matter. Like me. I can't go on with this. It just it has no meaning anymore. I guess there's just one thing left to do. <laughs> Where's the sad music? You have to play sad music, Andy. Beautiful and cute pictures, nonetheless. Should I delete them? Or not? Write down in the comments. No, you don't delete. There are so many shippings that will never happen, and there is awesome art to <laughs> I, I was really waiting for the sad music in the end, like... Near, far... Oh, uh, wait, don't we have any... Um, um, MLP related music for a very sad MLP related music for this kind of uh, occasion. I have to find a way. Okay, <laughs> now for a little bit of more serious reaction. First of all, one thing I wanted to point out quite a few times, uh, never got around to it, but this is a good, uh, a good point because Andy will probably watch this and I have to say, filmatography wise, what you do in your intros and often enough in your simple cuttings is pretty nice. I mean, considering that I actually learned this kind of stuff and I'm lazy as fuck and never do any legit cinematography and editing and stuff, at least not on this channel. Uh, I used to back on my old channel, but yeah. Um, I have grown very lazy and seeing his, this kind of stuff that he does is Kind of putting me into a little bit of a shame mode, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, to the actual content. Uh, before you all cry out, oh no, what a terrible misinformation. Yes, uh, Andy is pretty much aware of this. Um, before I have been able to do this reaction video, he actually fed me some further information. This particular quote you can see here on this image he came across on Facebook. This quote is just another example of how much certain parts of our fandom are driven to unjustified, over-the-top and stupid drama queenness. I don't know. Seriously, there are aspects in this fandom, every party is like, oh my god! And I'm rather cool with them, but this kind of making a drama out of everything, this embarrasses me personally even more. And I'm not pointing at Andy, he made his video over the top uh, for comedy's sake. Um, but he pretty much fall victim to somebody else pretty much spreading this nonsense. I do say nonsense, I mean Megan McCarthy obviously must have said something on uh, the BabsCon panel. And uh, Andy sent me the link to the actual panel and I know now what Megan actually said. It was more on the line that at the beginning of the panel she and the other writers had been asked like, hey, uh, why do you write Spikes this way? Don't you like him? Do you have, uh, how, how about him? What is it that makes it so difficult? And she and the other writers explained that this age gap between Spike and the main six on the one hand allows certain challenges with his character, but on the other hand makes it kind of more difficult to write for him. 
Then at the very end of the panel there comes this uh, girl to the microphone actually wearing a spike costume, right fitting, right fitting, and she's asking them, hey, will Rarity ever love Spike back? Will she ever respond to his feelings? And the writers are like, oh, come on, we talked about it, there's this big age gap, and uh, he is a, a kid and the main six are pretty much grown-ups and I just want to point out Megan McCarthy and Amy Keaton Rogers both point out that the others are grown-ups so everybody who is like oh no Equestria Girls is totally legit to make them stupid teenagers in a high school eat this. When the writers refer to the main six they refer to them as grown-ups. They consider them in their heads subconsciously grown-ups. But yeah, so basically what Megan and the other writers said was not an absolute no, they will never get together. They pretty much said it's inappropriate to pair a child up with an adult. The thing with the series is, um, it follows the law of the series and there is not too much change. I mean, we got the Wings for Twilight, which is pretty much the extent of how much change can go. But you will not see the characters grow up too much, except they do some kind of time skippy thing like they did in um, Young Justice or Dragon Ball or stuff like this, but if there is not happening something like this, the status quo will only slightly change, so an element by an element, but we will not see Spike literally grow up. And in the very moment Spike isn't a child anymore, Rarity might be a little bit more of a mature mayor at this point, but come on, then they are both adults and let the magic of love happen. So, no, the writers never gave an absolute no. Even so, this image pretty much tells otherwise. And last but not least, what I also told Andy before he discovered how much over-dramatized this whole issue was, Megan McCarthy might right now state that it is unlikely to happen because of the age difference and so on. Nevertheless, Lauren Faust once stated that in her opinion there should only be two Alicons. So no matter what the head writer says today, you never know what happens a few seasons later. Maybe we get a time skip or Spike does something like in uh, Secret of My Excess and do the growth jump and suddenly is an adolescent uh, dragon. We don't know now and therefore even the not absolute no Megan McCarthy gave is still not the last words. So I take this current occasion once again to tell all you people what Saber Spark already did in his uh, Leaving the Fandom video in his rather comedic way. Keep calm and pony on! Stop this whole drama! You just make yourself look like idiots and you embarrass the rest of the fandom. Seriously. If you want to check out Andy's video once more, link up here as well in the description. You also might find some other videos on his channel I might be involved in. This is Wife saying see you soon.